Hi everybody. Life has been so busy. It's been a while since we've been out on the road. So today we're going to make a little trip to Sedona, Arizona. All those little moments The best you did catch me looking over your shoulder This is Bell Rock ahead. There's no doubt that Sedona is beautiful. It gets its uh, red color from the hematite or the iron oxide in the dirt, and it's also known as rust. I've been wanting to do the Bell Rock hike for a few years now. The weather's finally cooled down enough, so I'm looking forward to that. It's looking pretty dark ahead here. Looks like uh, we may end up getting some rain. A little bit of rain wouldn't be too bad though. I've been uh, noticing there's been quite a bit of lightning ahead, but you know, you can't. I haven't been able to catch any of it on camera. Is it still, still a little too early? We're on our way to hike up Bell Mountain. It's a beautiful day out here today. It's supposed to rain later, so we're getting an early start. What a view that is. Isn't that gorgeous? You see the people up there? No. Right straight ahead of us on that right on the ledge. The ledge. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I do see them now. You see a white shirt. And yep. Tiny people up there. <laughs> <coughs> this is like one of the trees where they talk about the vortexes are, and how that they're uh, twisted like this. Very cool. So we're going to continue on our hike. What a gorgeous, gorgeous view here. What do you think? I think it's, uh, you see the people up there? Look at that. Oh my gosh, all the way to the top. Yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in. Wow. I'm going to go just a little bit farther up to the trees. Yeah, I think that's about it. Right? No, no. You want to go to this plateau right up here? <laughs> you, keep, <laughs> you keep saying, a little farther, a little farther. I'm game to go a little farther. Not too much farther, though. Oh, there's the waterfall right here. Right there. Oh, okay. I don't think we're going to go much farther. We gave ourselves an hour and a half hike and then an hour or so back down so we have other things to do today too next is chapel of the holy cross okay so we're going to save some of our energy we're going to stop here at chapel of the holy cross Check the 
weather map a few minutes ago and it was there was nothing close to us but we're on our way to Snebley Hill And uh, start of the trail, I'll zero out the odometer and I'll look in the book again too. I'll get the Vistas five miles from here. More of the 49 more of these to go. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't think it's like this all the way, but you know, usually they put a bad section up here in Sedona at the beginning, and they call them gatekeepers to keep people off the trails that uh, don't belong. Really? Uh huh. Soldier Pass, Broken Arrow, they all have gatekeepers. But it's good, because if you can't get by that big obstacle at the beginning, you don't deserve on the road. Mm -hmm. here on Snubbly Hill. It's a beautiful overlook up here. I'm going to turn you around so you can see some of the overview here. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Everything up here is beautiful. last stops for the day here is going to be Broken Arrow Trail. We're just going to hike part of it and just check it out for a future trip when we come out here. We'd like to take uh, one of the Jeep tours someday when we come out here and this might be one of the trails that we take. Take a look at this breakfast spread. Doesn't this look delicious?
This is the Sunset Vista Trail. It's just outside of our hotel room where we stayed here. A short little trail, beautiful view. This is our last day here, and then we'll be on our way home. So we'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Bye. For the rest of our lives, yes, you and me were meant to be. For the rest of our lives, drop your guard and take a ride with me. Cause you got what I want. Oh, and I got what you need. For the rest of our lives, it's gonna be a done deal. Just wait and see. Let's go.